perhaps a few momentary fears and as I can tell from my bridesmaids, a few tears as well. It is one of the most significant endeavors that either party will ever make and one of the most memorable. In marriage, we say not only I love you today, but also I promise to love you tomorrow, the next day, and always. Jonathan and Michelle, there are many ingredients that make up a marriage. There is communication, which is more listening than talking. <laughs> she gave him the eye already. <laughs> there is understanding, patience, honesty, trust, diligence, dependability, compatibility, compassion, and love. Let's talk about love just for a brief moment. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. <laughs> love. A small word for such a complex emotion. There is no simple explanation for it because love is made up of many things. It cannot be measured because it is a feeling. All of the money in the world cannot buy love. It has to be earned. It does not happen by wishing it. It must come about naturally. Love is not an instantaneous emotion, but something that grows slowly between two people maturing with time. Once love has reached maturity, there is no stronger bond between two people. To love someone means to be comfortable and to be at ease with them. Sharing confidence is knowing that they will be understood and held in trust. It means respecting each other's dignity and never demanding something other than love from each other. It also means being willing to give and accepting that which is given graciously and with love. To love someone means having a genuine concern for them, being able to sense that something is wrong without even being told. It is understanding the other person's problems, moods, and hang-ups, and accepting all of them, even if you don't quite understand them. It is understanding their human imperfections, knowing that their good points far outweigh the bad. Love is 